Hello, Captain Big Dan here, bringing you another mystery video, Hope the Mystery Decoded, hopefully to give you definitive answers to the questions in which you all seek. I will not be repeating myself nor going over anything from a previous video, but so it's very important for you who know nothing about this to pay very close attention to what's being heard and what's being seen. Alright, everybody pays attention, no one gets hurt! Man, I'll believe in this bird when I get eyes We on hear it. the eyes, but from the very beginning, this is about aliens, UFOs. We see this in the intro and in the prologue, and also related to here when we see Rockstar giving us the mystery painting, showing us the five mysteries in the game. Also, the last mystery that hasn't been solved, being beamed up by these UFOs. Now, every new DLC and coming out and Easter egg is always revolving around these, these clues about this UFO. And now let's talk about the outline right here of the Chiliad mirror, which everyone believes is the key to the mystery. We know that this is Mount Ch Chiliad, and we know that the top glyph on the very top is the eye underneath the platform here. So we can already assume that the grand ending of this is going to be on top of Mount Chiliad. You must be here at 100% completion, but there's a very specific way in which they want you to play the game. These three crooked paths going upward this was a code in basically trying to explain to you on how you're supposed to be snaking around the story missions to try to get hack the system so where certain things are lining up to where they're all talking about the same thing this it should only take about eight steps but this is the new world order in which rockstar wants you to play in order to break the code of the pyramid the peak of the pyramid known as the the capstone so this symbol resembling the Illuminati was Rockstar's metaphor for their mystery experience secret society within their Rockstar universe. It's the best way to describe it. So the greatest symbol we see is the, the eye. The reason for the eye is it's this conversion of things. We see this even uh, here in the Red Dead with the craft. Also we see it in the, the mural. So what I'm saying is the completion of this should be involved some event with UFOs and an eye. Now what is this eye? And what are the steps in which it needs to be completed? Well most of you are coming to understanding of the eye in the sky. And how this is about timing. But there are, is another eye that is also in this tree. This talking tree. All trees are metaphors for the branching system in which your actions create, like the two snakes going up the rod. But what's this mystery about? With the most clue that we keep seeing as to far what the outcome is supposed to be, I'm pointing out the peaked pyramid here created by the lights, is that we see this character being beamed up constantly. So if we... This is, of course, expressed into the DLC here, this Halloween event, where Rockstar shows us how the... What was going on in Legion Square also pays very close attention to what's going on with Chiliad Miro. Thank you again for the Boxers Rockstar. We also see this character being beamed up between the two squares at Legion Square, also the Peak Pyramid. Notice the cleft, the green cleft, between Beam Me Up and Take Me Up Uranus. So when we ask why are we being beamed up in the first place, well it seems that this joke is that you were going to be beamed up by Sky pe People or that you were going to meet your space <laughs> brothers who are in space. It says the key to understanding all the root of all life's pr problems is Uranus 42. Then with all the sex jokes joked about that they're going to give it to us, give it to us good, are we really going to be probed by little green men in space? It's pathetic! Trapped in your delusions. Scared the little green men are coming to take you away. <laughs> Now the one abduction we do see definitively is in the story mode when Michael is tricked in by J Jimmy to, into drinking some ketamine. As we see through the green orb here, Michael is actually being examined and checked out by these aliens before they release him. But what we always see also is how he is, he is hallucinating. He is on the drug induced trip. And it's this falling motion that we see over and over again portrayed in the new mystery DLC. See, these evil aliens are a direct result of the state of mind that Michael is in. But why would Michael be trying to meet 
these aliens in space in the first place. Most of us can probably already assume why Franklin might have a connection here with the alien parts. The space docker being shown in the front of these uh, portals in the space. What else is going on here? Why would Michael have a reason? To be there with the aliens and this is going to go back to the eps, eps, epsilon's involvement and to what the true meaning of these trees really is do you know what these are life analogies you will know why soon so these life analogies the peach tree is a reference to the women at the strip club and how they are used as your godlike power to control the weather into preparing things for the epsilon we are all from the same tree but once you spill your seed, turn over and go to sleep, or tell her to leave. What do you see here? Potential. Generosity. Manifest generosity. And through generosity, all things come to pass, including multiple women. Yes. Yes. Now we are getting somewhere. So like how Michael explains in his Epsilon Guard, this is all part of the research needed. This is the whole idea of looking and not touching esoterically. Oh. But let's Chris talk about the other says, trees. If you're ready, there's a tree of truth. Now he'll arrange a map, but it's kind of expensive to reach this level of existence. The tree of truth is actually the same reference as to the talking tree. This tree does, does talk, and you must pay attention to what it was saying. Because this is your keys in telling you where you need to go which I will get deeper into this and the mirror will explain and how, how, what you're supposed to be listening to. But let's talk about what's actually supposed to happen. Know anything about the eggs on Mount Chiliad? Are you ready? Are you ready to understand? I am Chris Formage. Are you ready to greet your ancestors, receive an egg from them, and form yourself out of it? So you can see how this Epsilon egg is at the center of it all. Doesn't seem to know much about the eggs on Mount Chiliad. So what do you recommend we give as a first dose into the fucking truth, man? You see, this is why the Chiliad mural has the egg going straight up to the eye and the UFO. Why the egg is shown here. But why did the Epsilon is give you an egg in the first place and this is where you have to realize that they are in fact in space this is why it's the ancestors in space we get this clue from the consul defenders of the faith as you can see epsilon coming through this planet moon like here blocking something that seems to be having the same light coming from craft and as you can see the epsilon is spaceship there and the moon in the back how it's descending towards this this planet our world on the Poseidon painting we see the descending planet just like in the console so what you're seeing here is that this egg is tied directly into the center but what are these other two paths this is a three-parter like chakra attack said a three-part mystery now I want to show you some connections between the Yeti and the spirit and the beast and the ascended man in this triangle we see so hopefully you can understand the full potential Rockstar wants you wants you to achieve by penetrating the game Notice it's two eyes on both sides of the pyramid. This triangulation, this hacking, that must take place. We see that two sides must converge to one, making a third. So what we see very clearly in the new DLC is this is Michael's path, going through Legion Square, finishing the Epsilon track, and going into, as we see the riddle of the pyramids, going the right block. But then we also see there's another way, another path being expressed here, showing more closely related to Trevor. Here we see, here we see the waters are very high and extreme, and the world looks like it's at some kind of an end. We also hear an example on how the Pyotes can save you. Distracted from the bad vibes. Check out the Synstech visuals. Synstech visuals save you from the bad vibes. But we see in Trevor's ending, these aliens do appear, but that this is a hostile takeover. An alien invasion. So what's really going on here? But both these paths all lead to the same thing. A rainbow trail. And then when we look at the other clues being shown to shown to us, again we see one side entering the portal. The space docker, aliens, other side. It's Trevor and the clowns, again both associated with his involvement in Legion Square. So why, why two paths 
converging into one. Well, Rockstar clearly shows us three, but the, notice the, the sign in the back, how it moves back and forth. This is a direct representation of the moving maze and how it's the timing and when you're supposed to do these things, how you're only supposed to go so far on these steps and then turn around. Understanding the timing and these three things that must be together, that must converge to finish this up. We see this in many, many examples, so we know this is correct. We see it again, the three squares and the two converging through these very specific steps. So when you look at this, you must actually think of the chakras and how the colors coordinate. And when you look at the, the pros and cons of having these things open or closed, you'll start to see exactly what Rockstar is saying here, this joke that they're expressing, but also giving you definitive answers. But I wanted to talk about this door, this door that's behind this massive trip talking about i am talking about a hotline straight to heaven so rockstar is depicting the mystery as you going through some kind of eye shape shaped door now what all the clues seem to be pointing to this door leading into space but there seems to be another door an earth door which i'm going to get into here this vesica pisces which we see here both in the purple panel and the white panel we see it related to the mysteries here in the feminine aspect, the shape of the eye in the sky, the eclipse. So this thing is supposed to be so big that you could be able to fly a plane through it. It's massive gaper. So either though there is mounting evidence to support where we believe Franklin should be going through this door, probably as the golden Ye Yeti added in on the new DLC on PS4, but we also saw this in the spiritual aspect that the Yeti was a Savanius a Surinos, a wild man, who could in fact go into the earth and get to the center of it all. Yes, there's the hunting aspect, but Rockstar clearly shows us that they are referring to the golden Yeti when it comes to the Peyote. See, and then on the, the trip that seems to be associated with Michael, we see Kill the Beast Within, and it seems to be associated with the Peyotes. And we also see here the Werewolf, which appears in multiplayer as a random event in free mode. We can see this transformation, Wolf to Man and the Purple Sash, must take place. Let's talk about the Yeti. But notice that the Yetis, or the Sasquatch, are flanking this actual tree here. They're in front of the gate. We believe he is the gate keeper to going on to the next step through this actual eye, this vesica. We thought it's seeing it in the most spiritual side that you were cleansing your chakras. See, so it says here that it's going to get you fixed. So this later on is just proven over and over again where you are cleansing them through spiritual death and re rebirth and being able to see the world through, I guess what you could say, a vulnerable side. This is something very spiritual because this is why Franklin is the white buffalo. It's what he drives. This is all based off of Native American spirit walking. It's all the rage right here. Spirit walking, exercises body and soul. It's all the rage. Even Steve Ogg and his trader account exposed a little secret. Notice they said in the bottom, goat and peyote through the eye. But like, Casey is still not convinced on the metaphors of the tree or this cave or this door leading into the earth i like to talk about another place where it's more what's the word plainly expressed so let me give you a window into what's going on here as well here we see the symbols and glyphs we see the hands which could be fives we also see the sun symbols the eye we see the animals the eagle we see the spiral we see the same symbols on center street in grand theft auto 5 but what's most important <clears throat> most importantly the main thing you must be paying attention to is this sun glyph showing a man standing at different times of this circle here. And this obvious four-cornered sun, sun glyph, where you can see the symbol of the man matches that of the Doomsday Mural. This is exactly supposed to be in relationship to the Chiliad Mural. You can see the connection there. But the symbols here that you see these three worlds converging, involving the eagle these rings and about your place in time but i all where does this all this lead well over by bacchus bridge you know dionysus the roman uh, equivalent by this chelonian house 
you will find a cave flanked by a mighty tree. This vesica into this womb like into to the earth leads on a triangular path, by the way, to a rendition of the Greek story of Oed Oed Oedipus, where is a riddle by numbers must be solved. For who walked on four legs in the morning, two legs in the afternoon, and three in the evening? Three plus four plus two, the answer was man. Same thing here, the numbers must be established. But the most important thing to be taken away from the Oedipus story was that he was a man who could not escape his fate, no matter what he, he did. And that's the key here in Grand Theft Auto V. But if you don't believe me, take a look at how this path leads straight out to the tree. See the same message behind the Oedipus story that we cannot fight this in inevitability, this death. And then remember, this is Michael's ending. So I think for sure it's just showing us the e ego must die. There's no doubting the connection there. So let's go back into these other paths that must be taken, not just the, the green path in between, but the symbol of the eagle. This, these two paths that are alike and the one that is different. Where to hear Sunshine, that? Sunshine boredom lies. That's what we got. Other people, they have other worlds. But for me, I'm like a vulture just circling the desert looking for fucking corpses. You know, a carrion eating. This is where it's obvious we see the two sides of the same coin. We get the descendant of Trevor, which we see two paths in alchemical circles. And we also see the ascension of Michael. But in the end, both sides are saying that both of these guys must die. So how is it possible that we can commit to two different story paths within one? And I think this is the main key here, is that why no one's able to solve this mystery. Is that you're supposed to be combining them, some kind of balancing act in the game, some form of death, whether it's in physical or spiritual, that combines all this together to create the end of the mystery. We see this over and over again. But at this point, this concludes the end of the explanation of what's really going on here. And I hope you learned something today, because a lot of people don't seem to know what's going on. This is about merging four story mode events all at the same time to solve the mystery. Five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom. So there's three key paths based in the story mode that line up to create the ult ultimate completion of the mystery. But how do you get there, right? Yeah, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life! It's just one long mystery. Bye bye gentlemen, and stay spiritual. I can't give you all the answers for that right now because contextually you wouldn't understand what I was talking about because you may not have any understanding of what, why Rockstar calls this a maze and why this is a moving maze. And But remember, this all must take place at a certain amount of time and the only way that it, it can happen for you to even see it is under very specific weather, weather conditions that you must learn to create. And this goes back to well, all that sounds very difficult. How on earth would we be able to, to do that? Well, this is because you must realize how they are giving you the clues and telling you where to go. Notice how the shapes here look a lot like Cubit 3. Look at the colors that are being related to the symbols and to the mystery. These two right triangles being formed together in the, the center. We see the cleavage joke between up flows the true form. Like the Caduceus, this was about merging positive and negative aspects of the game into a, an ascended version of the game. Cleansing the, yourself of these chakras. But like I said, there's details in these pictures and these paintings and these clues that are telling you what's, what's going on. But also re referencing on where you should, you should be. But pay very close attention. You even see the two doors on the side there. The four Vesica Pisces thrown in your face. They don't. They go so far as to not just give you one clue, but many clues. Yes, it's what you see, but also the little details of what you see. Is this Grandpa Jode, or is this the Prophet Jode? Look them up. 
it, notice we see the Yeti through the door and also like the <laughs> Chelonians. We also see the wine and ranch 1888, just like Red Dead in the cave I showed earlier. Look at the clues of the colors, the ascensions. You can match these shapes with what, what's in the environment and see that this is literally giving you a message. But I need you to understand how this message is being said. Notice the right triangle there. Notice the right triangle there. There is constantly giving you clues. Can you can you see it? Little bird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Once you have the eyes of the ascended, you see this world differently. You see how things come together to create things. How things are interlocking to form puzzle pieces and this path through the maze. How these two rings must be brought together again and like I said I can't give you all the answers right now right now you just had to know what the end result was because once we all have the end result in in hand we can finish this no don't worry it'll come that'll come but right now it is life lesson time pal you have got to wake up to what's real in this situation bro you need to see what's being obviously pointed out how they are talking to you listen here those two clowns oh man they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down they are a full core meltdown and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation it's not a coincidence you hear radiation it's not a coincidence you hear clown it's not a coincidence we see in the newest dlc the clown the golden him at Michael's death scene, also surrounded by green mist, opening up eight red square containers. These are all things created to give you a message. These things connect. These things connect in such a way that they start to create a path. But these clues that are given to you are in fact backwards. And Rockstar tells you this very plainly in the new DLC. Ever like feel like things are back to front, like your world's totally flipped? Like Miriam Bellard, the lead art director to Grand Theft Auto V explains in Arcadia Talks that things are in fact backwards. They're giving you what they call wave finding clues. Like Maui said in, in Moana, a wave finder is somebody who knows where they are by where they have been. The clearest ex way to explain this is that the missions that are in front of you are showing you what should have been done behind you this is what it means that the answers are right in front of your face it's what you do afterwards that shows what should have been done behind but again i can show you this clear clearly and when we start going through the maze but once you start to understand that everything here is trying to give you a message you can start to see how all these things are related to the mystery in some form or, or aspect but it's going to be way easier to show you pass through the maze when you can see the clear example of how rockstar is giving you the message and how it's related in the new first dose and last dose dlc so the next two two things that are coming on are going to to focus on that and show you directly how it's all related to single player content and is in fact giving you a clear path of the three specific paths that need to line up into this to solve this mystery but there's something else else that i i tried to express here is that they are giving us these new clues with the yeti that we believe that this was showing that in fact the mystery was not complete but is now complete here in ps4 or ps5 which is why we we saw this as going up but also what we're going to talk about is this balancing act what we said this judgment that rockstar is giving you this is where freelander is important and how michael is actually being saved by therapy and the actions that he is he is doing the same as we think for for trevor it's not a coincidence that there's a bike here it, this is directly related to the mission with jimmy and that had your choices and what you do on that race will affect you later on there's several choices in the game this is the whole point that they are watching you but i said so now this is why your choices are karmically involved in the sense that they are fixing you pushing you to an ascended version of, of, of this game here you see the vesica and next i've got to explain the symbols of these s's and d's see you hold the key and I'm trying to give you the answers you seek to unlock this mystery. We're almost there, guys. So close. Really there? 
Should've cost a little time and effort, and then it's astroplanes and 37,000 places all at once. <laughs> and the chicks, oh! <laughs> That's the end. Captain, bring that out. Till next time.